Our story of Compendium takes place in this 1930s fantasy. We really played with the times and the whole story is just this very warped kind of creepy tale of The Little Mermaid. It's kind of a sequel to The Little Mermaid, a dark sequel. The Little Mermaid is being held captive um, by the guy that caught her. My name is Trevor Gemma and I'm playing Grigori, the uh, circus ringleader, freak show owner who uh, is keeping The Little Mermaid captive. He brings people in and charges the money to show him show off this mermaid and she's like in this bathtub with no water and she's virtually dying and she just doesn't have anything left so she takes measures into her own hands you know it might mean the end of her but it's it's better than keeping on living in the situation that she's in it's it's quite tragic actually Compendium is an entertainment business management project that creates a series of short genre films that are produced to an incredibly high level of quality. It incorporates industry professionals, alumni and students from all across the school and it is led from inception to completion by the EBM students themselves. As producers, especially first-time producers, we knew going into the project that it was going to be a huge undertaking right from the get-go. So what we decided to do was hold a meeting where every key creative was involved, where we established a vision as a team. My goal is to get them to the point where they're confident enough in their own story skills that they're able to then work with writers uh, to push the story to a place where it's going to be the best that it can possibly be. One of the things we had found with this script was that a lot of the more powerful scenes actually had no dialogue in them whatsoever, so we figured it was probably better to simply make it a silent film. They got something that is ultimately much more compelling and, and resonates that much more by just cutting right to the core of what that story is about. And we yeah. had actors with amazing facial features, so it really played off well. Trevor is always in character, which we found out in all of pre-production. It never ends, and Giovanna was just ridiculously creepy in the best way possible. I mean that with all compliments. Yes. <laughs> so. Their auditions literally blew us away. Yeah. We were very fortunate to find those two. Yes. I mean, for the most part, a lot of our classes were supplementary to the project, which was really helpful in preparing us for it, because we did project, like status reports every week to analyze all of our risks, come up with contingency plans, log all of our changes, and how it had affected the, the scope of our project. Just to do that, the sheer amount of business you had to learn to pull that off. We had $1,500 to put on a potentially 20,000 plus production, and we learned all the traits. And this is just one of the ways where our students learn how to develop and become champions of IP. You've worked for months to bring it all together, and this is your one day to show you did it. And it's like, yeah. ah. Everything was ready to go, everyone was on the ball. It's been a really long day. Uh, everybody's been working really hard. Just kind of focus all your attention and energy in one to one space, and then you get something that looks like this, and this looks fantastic. Literally lights, camera, action, and then all of a sudden you see all your hard work. It's real, it's tangible, it's, it's such an incredible feeling to look at it and know that you were a part of it. Uh, one of the first things I did when uh, I met Sean, our production designer, was uh, I grabbed some stills from a couple of movies and said, you know, like this is what I'm looking for, and it was pretty darn close. Well, it all started with building a little scale model out of popsicle sticks, and that's how we figured out how to get the beams to go up and hold the tent wall up and have it curve just so. Kim Oxland was our digital designer, but over the course of the production of Little Mermaid, we discovered all of his hidden talents of being a composer as well as a sound designer and color correctionist in the end as well. But as far as digital design, we saw some renders of Kim's early work and it was just fantastic and we basically just said, go with that. <laughs> 
He was really just the jack of all trades of our film and just a huge intricate part of The Little Mermaid. I was actually blown away and as a director it's really exciting to sort of like have a vision and communicate that vision to your team and have them be able to build it for you, you know, just how you imagine. And I think that's, it speaks really loudly about the quality of the people working on this project. Yeah, it's been quite an experience. I was in makeup for about five hours. As you can see, it's just, you know, very, a little bit uncomfortable for your regular human being. And um, this prosthetic piece is covering my nose, so it's a little bit difficult to breathe through. It's been all right. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about getting into a tub right now of bloody water, but, you know, we'll get through it. <laughs> That was definitely my most rewarding experience within Compendium was seeing Giovanna in the tub on the stage, seeing Trevor walk out with his cane to see set design, the writing, the yeah, acting, we the directing, had it all, all together. coming together. Totally. It was just amazing. For a lot of EBM students, it is their first chance to collaborate with people from different industry sectors. This is often the first time that they've ever gotten the experience to work with special effects makeup. For a lot of them, it's the first time they've gotten to work with action sequences. They get to work with the best students in all the different departments that the school has. It's been fun kind of jumping into a project with people that are just as passionate about their craft as I am and, and making a really cool film. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be awesome. It was such a beautiful product and it was such a fun experience on set that taking that into my career as a producer is going to be huge. It's our first film. As producers, <laughs> it's just a huge step forward. I mean, it's the launching platform for our careers. And we're so confident in this film. I mean, we feel there's going to be so many rewards that come off of it. There's so many creative elements that came together that were on the same page. Everything looks so nice and so eerie and creepy and just you know, to exactly what we wanted. I just think Compendium is one of the coolest things out there. I don't know of any other film school uh, that is putting together a project like this. It's amazing. Well, since post-production wrapped on Little Mermaid, it was kind of a whirlwind experience. We were able to submit to festivals almost instantly. It's just been getting such huge press and reception and we just couldn't be happier getting it out there into the world.